Hey, what's up? This is Bugs of the FOMO Crew on BboDojo.com. A lot of people say that ciphering is gone, or if it still exists in jams, then people don't know how to do it anymore. Well, today we're gonna address the issue and make a change here at the Knowledge Drop. Why do we even still need ciphers and call-up battles anyhow? The big stuff takes place on the big circles and live streams, and who cares about what's going on in the dark corners in the back? Well, the fact of the matter is that ciphers and call-up battles are the culture. People getting together to celebrate music and unity and settle beef through battling. If those are being stripped out completely, then once again we're one step closer to mechanical sports, far away from the origins of this art form. Besides being a big part of the fun, I see it as a way of, of carrying on tradition. Plus jams without ciphers are mad boring. That's why you always find Flow Mo Crew rocking it and killing it in the ciphers. And if there's no ciphers in the jam, we'll make them. We're one of the last crews that has most self-made our status and name in the ciphers. Hopefully there'll be more in the future as well, and it's never too late. There are a bunch of little jams in the whole world that value the tradition and appreciate ciphers. Give time and space for people who love ciphering and battling people in the ciphers as well. Cyphers is where the good stuff takes place. If you've ever been to one with your favorite breakers getting loose, you know and most likely you're already hooked. No round limits, no tie breakers, no boring stare offs, wasting everybody's time and music. And you don't have to dance if the music is whack or too fast. Cyphers are also unexpected and raw. You might get called out by the person that you look up to the most any given day, any given time. And that's the beauty of it too. In what other discipline you might get called out by a living legend any day. Imagine yourself casually playing golf one day and out of the blue Tiger Woods comes and challenges you for your swing to see if your skills match your cockiness. What a lesson to learn, right? Or you're on your afternoon swim and suddenly Michael Phelps calls you out for your goggles. Random, right? Callers were there before the competition ever existed and should still be cherished today. They keep the rawness as part of what we do. A lot of people act tough on the stage and all cocky, but whenever it's cypher time, they're nowhere to be found. To get the respect of the elders, you still need to pay dues in the ciphers as well. So let's get right into it. The cypher etiquette, the do's and don'ts of ciphering. Do respect the others rocking with you. Don't touch, don't block, don't hit nobody else in the cypher, okay? Respect the flow of the circle, so avoid rushing in when there's a million others trying to get in like a bunch of piranhas, okay? A great circle has a good flow of people getting in and out, exchanging skills and energy. That's a cipher that will be mem remembered. Read the circle. Look for opportunities and space. What I mean by that is if somebody finishes right in front of you, front of you it's not your turn to go in. You got no space and it's impossible to squeeze in somehow. If they finish on the other side of the circle, there's plenty of space for you to start your round. Um, if somebody's on the side of the circle and looks like he's about to jump in or she's about to jump in, most likely they're about to do it. So you either take your space or respect their turn and, and take the next round. If the circle is too crowded, start your own. What's a better feeling than starting your own circle that turns out to become an unforgettable cipher? Um, in that case, it flows on your terms as well, so you get to control the whole thing. And if you don't believe me, then you can try this on the next jam that you go to. Start dancing on the side and you'll be surprised how quick a cypher forms around you. Do give props when props are due. If you give respect, you can expect respect in return. If you act like a dick, then you can't expect respect from anybody. Control your moves. Don't crash to the audience or kick the people on the side. Scale your moves if the cypher is small. Be aware of your personal skill level and the space that you have. Think 3D. If the circle gets too small, then you can always play with levels. You can always go up and down. There's always space for that if you can move sideways. If the cypher gets small, then you don't always have to go around if you don't have space for it. You learn to switch your directions and also learn to stay on one side of the body only if you still want to hit the floor with your rounds. Dress fresh, man. Your presence makes a difference in the energy of that circle. So respect the circle by dressing accordingly and you will boost the energy of the circle in a good way. Rep with your crew so you will boost each other's fire when it comes to rocking cyphers. 
Look for inspiration from crews like Seven Dollars or MCK who are known for bringing in great numbers and taking over circles. So you know what I'm talking about. React to the music. Go crazy on the breaks of the record and get loose. Don't just run your sets but dance actually. If the music changes, then change your dance as well. Moving on to the don'ts. Don't practice your moves no more. The time of the practice is done. Now, now it's time for the real deal. So react to your mistakes, correct your mistakes and benefit from your mistakes. Learn to freestyle. Don't just crash all over the place. And don't stretch on the side of the circle. Should go without saying, but unfortunately it doesn't. A total vibe killer for anybody. Don't sweat though crazy. <laughs> Come on. So if, you, if you're turning all sweaty, then stop, take a break, take a drink and change your shirt. Nobody wants your sweat dripping all over the place on the side of the circle while you rock. Or touch the floor after you've been soaking the floor with your back rocks. Funky doesn't necessarily have to mean the smell of your dance. Don't call out everybody all the time, okay? There is always a time for a dope call out battle, but a battle done in vain just to get attention can also ruin the vibe of the circle. Prefer battling over beef than just to show off. A dope exchange with masterminds can add to a circle, not interrupt the flow of it. And lastly, don't wait for your turn all stiff on the side. It's alright to groove a little bit on the side while waiting for your turn to bring in some of that party vibe. We are not in a funeral unless you're getting smoked real bad. So next time you go to a jam, don't forget to cipher a little bit, okay? That way you will contribute to the well-being of our culture. Support local jams that appreciate the tradition. That's all folks, thank you for your time. Now comment below which one is your personal favorite of the do's and don'ts. Always stay tuned for more, okay? Signing out with the knowledge drop. Peace.